Hello, my name is Raman Yorov. Have you ever felt frustrated about a segment split into two in a magazine? Do you want to be able to fix this kind of a problem but just don't know how to go about it? Watch this video to understand how to merge segments in a magazine. Many Megatee users admit that the current approach to segmentation in the program isn't exactly straightforward. I agree. It's not rocket science either, however. Indeed, to build smart rules you need to understand regular expressions, which might be a challenge. But if you just want a quick fix for a current segment, knowing regular expressions is often unnecessary. So we'll start by merging segments with a quick fix rule. The, segment, the sentence was incorrectly segmented on the period in an abbreviated word. Here in the note, you can see how the segment is supposed to look. I need to merge the two segments right after the period. After I open the segmentation setup window, I can select the English set of rules, since my source language is English, and add my quick fix rule right to the set. But I can also click add and create a new set of rules. I will name it quick fix rules. For the language pattern, I will enter ENUS. By doing so, I make sure that the rules in this new set take priority over all the rules both in the English set and the default set. None of the rules in the English set or in the default set can interfere with my quick fix rules. I'm ready to add my new rule now. I click Add in the section below. After a blank rule appears, I enter INT period as the pattern before and space 10 as the pattern after. Make sure you don't forget the space when you add rules. Since I need to merge segments at this point, I leave the checkbox unchecked. As soon as I reload the project, I get the correct segmentation. Now, what I did isn't the most efficient approach, but that isn't the point with any quick fix rule. The point is that it's easy and it works. Its main drawback is that if I have a lot of similar segmentation issues in a project, I have to make a rule for each instance. For example, in this case, I will need to add separate rules for INT20 and INT30. Okay, I'm now ready to take this to the next level. Again, I see a pattern here, so I want to add a rule that will cover the entire pattern instead of adding rules on a case-by-case -case basis. I want to delete the old rule first so that it doesn't interfere with the new rule. Remove. My new rule can either go into the quick fix rule set again or it can go into the English set if I think it could be a value in future projects. If it does, I need to save it to the, to the English set or even the default set. In this case, it doesn't, so I'll just put it into the quick fix rules. The pattern I want to cover with my new rule should be the most general one. I want to have each abbreviated word INT merged with the following text, whether that is a number, a letter, or a symbol. The rule will look like this, INT backslash period as a pattern before. It is just INT with a period. The backslash before the period ensures that the period is not treated like a regular expression. 
A mega T will only apply this rule if int is followed by a period, but not any other character. And the pattern in the pattern after means simply any kind of a space. It's just a better representation of a space than the one I used before. Again, I'm not enabling the checkbox. In other words, I'm telling the mega T not to make a segment when int occurs before a space, which means it's an abbreviated word. The segmentation is correct now in all the three instances because the new rule covers them all. But wait, <laughs> what's happening here? The same int gets a sentence segmented anyway. The reason is that the rule that I added covered just the uppercase letter i, while this word starts with the lowercase letter in the segment, so the rule doesn't apply. Well, no big deal. I can adjust it to make sure the rule includes both a lower and an uppercase letter. One way to do so is to add a specific regular expression to the pattern before. And here it is. This regular expression enables case insensitive matching. As a result, a mega T will apply the rule to any int, whether it's written in lowercase or uppercase letters. The segmentation is correct now. I can take a break, I guess. Not so fast. Oh, come on. This same abbreviated word also occurs as a part of another word at the end of a sentence. Now my carefully crafted rule merges two completely innocent sentences. I need to adjust it even further. A simple way to do this is to add a regular expression that represents a, a word border. It looks like this. It means that for this rule to work, int must occur as a standalone word, not a part of another word. So, after tweaking this rule, I get correct segmentation. Two separate sentences. That's about it. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll show how to split segments in a mega T. In the meantime, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. If you missed the previous video on the topic, make sure to check it out.